Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jamulkar. In last video, we have seen what is the need of synchronization in Selenium. Also, we have seen different ways to achieve synchronization in Selenium. In this video, we will see how to write code for implicit way. So see, this program we have seen in last video. So I am removing this. Now see, if you don't achieve synchronization, what will happen that we will see first. So here in this website, when I click on Marathi, so this page will get refreshed and here I can see Marathi movies. When I click on Tamil, so this will get refreshed and I can see Tamil movies. But see when I click on this Marathi, so it is taking some time to load this page and I am getting all these Marathi movies, right? But it is takes some time. But see, when, uh, so in Selenium, we will write code to click on this Marathi. Next time, suppose I want to click on this Chandramukhi, so I will write code to click on this. But statement to click on this poster or image will get executed at that time. This web element may not exist because taking some time to load these posters or images, right? So for that purpose, we require synchronization. If you don't achieve synchronization, what will happen? So see. Here we are not achieving any synchronization, right? So here we are clicking on this Marathi, and after that we are clicking on this Chandramukhi poster, right? So we will run this code. So see. So see, uh, it has not click on this poster because see. When you click on Marathi, it is taking some time to load this. But Selenium code execution speed is very high and because of that, it is not finding this web element. And for this purpose, we have to synchronize it. Now see, how to do it by using implicit way. So see, here globally, we have to apply implicit way. So here we are writing code for implicit way. Now see, here by using this driver object we have to call manage method after that we need to call timeout method after that we need to call implicitly wait so see implicitly wait this method we have to call and in bracket we have to pass one parameter and the parameter is how many seconds we want to wait here we have to mention number of seconds but directly we cannot mention like this here we have to mention it by using duration class. So see, duration, duration dot of, now see, here you can mention of millisecond, of minutes, of nanosecond, of second, like this. Okay, so accordingly, I, as per our need, we can mention. So suppose here I am mentioning of second. Now see, and here in bracket, we have to mention number of second. And semicolon so see what i am mentioning here so i am applying implicit weight and at max it should wait for five seconds if any web element is not present or if it is not available for at max five seconds then only it will give this no such element exception otherwise it will wait for five seconds this is the maximum time and it is applicable for all the web element. That's why I am saying it is a global weight. Globally, we are mentioning maximum waiting time is 5 seconds. Now, see, same program I am running again. Java application. Now, see. So, see, browser got open. It has click on Marathi and also it has click on this Chandramukhi. Very fast, right? So see, instead of waiting for 5 seconds, this is a maximum time. So at max it will wait for 5 seconds. But suppose if we get this web element within 2 seconds. So at that time only it will click. So it will not wait up to 5 seconds. If it is available in 1 second, so at that time it will click. If it is available after 2 seconds, at that time it will click. Now see that I have told it is a global time. See for every web element we don't need to mention it. See suppose. We will do one thing. Here, suppose, see, uh, in Marathi, 
after clicking on Marathi, we are clicking on this Chandramukhi. And suppose again we are going back. So we have to click on this back arrow button, right? So we'll write code for this. So we have to go back, right? So driver dot navigate dot back. Right? So we'll go back. So we have written code for this. So see, we'll go back here. After that, we have to click on English. Right? So we have to click on English. So we'll write code for this. So first we'll inspect. Now see. So by this we are getting this. So we'll write export for this. Here we'll write export. Now see. So see when I'm taking cursor over here, so it is getting selected, right? So we'll use div and in rectangular bracket we'll mention text. Uh, so see here I got it. So see extra thing that will remove. Okay. Now see it is showing three elements matching. Okay, so anyhow it is getting selected there, but uh, what we'll do? We'll find out exact. So here I mention again round brackets and uh, we'll provide some index. So if I mention zero, it is not selecting. If I mention this one, it is not selecting. If I mention this two, still it is not selecting. Three. So see when I mention three, so English got selected right now i will use this export control a control c and here we'll write code for this so see driver dot find element by dot x path here we'll mention that x path so here and what we have to do we have to click there right all right that we have done and after that so see after clicking on this English, what we have to do? We have to click on suppose this top gun. Okay, so here I have to click. So again, we will inspect this. Okay, now see for this, we will create this X path and I will check here by using these selectors up. So see if I am taking cursor over here, so it is getting selected, right? So okay by this img tag in uh, square bracket will mention suppose uh, i'm using this all top gun let uh, square bracket complete and single quote will make it single quote let us see and here we have to mention add let us see see one element matching Okay, so we got this, right? So now I'm copying here. And here we write the code. Driver dot find element by dot x path in double quote. We'll mention this. And what we want to do, we want to click there, right? We want to click it. We want to click there, right? So these things we are doing. Now see, when we click on English, so again it will take some time to load this page or to load the poster, right? So as here we are using implicit weight, so it will wait for all the web elements. See, when we are using implicit weight, so it will wait for all the web elements to load and at max it will wait for 5 seconds, right? So no need to mention this code for every web element. So this code will work for all the web elements for every web element now see we will run it so i am doing right click run as java application so see browser is getting open so see see so all actions are done and we wanted to click on this top gun right so that is also click so see uh, what it has done Previous, first, uh, it has clicked on Marathi, it has selected Chandramukhi, then it has uh, clicked on this back button, then it has clicked on English, and after that, it has clicked on this top gun. Right? So, all actions are done. And see, uh, though it was taking time when we click on Marathi, when we have clicked on English, but still it has managed. So, just by adding this one line, everything is done. Okay? So, no need to mention this code for every web element. Globally, here we have mentioned it. 
and it will work for all these web elements. So for every web element at max, it will wait for the five seconds. So in this way, we can write code for implicit weight. In next video, we'll see how to write code for the explicit weight. So friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.